All right, I have a big bins haul. And I also just had an auction end on eBay and something sold for $305. And it's been sitting in my inventory for two and a half years. So I am A, happy to see it go. B, happy with a $300 sale. I'll tell you more about that in a second. But uh, that did not come from the spins haul I'm just sharing because it just ended and I'm kind of excited that it's sold. It also had eight bids. It's always fun to see things that get bid up. All right, uh, this is from three different days of stopping the bins, probably a couple hours at each. Um, and there's also a few items in here from a regular thrift store because I tend to stop at thrift stores on my way home. Um, but I found some good stuff and I am excited. So, I'm gonna start with my favorite item that I didn't know how to price because it's so beautiful, but there were zero comps and it retailed for $325 and it's just stunning. Um, I will insert a photo because it is longer and with me trying to hold it up awkwardly, it's just not gonna do it justice. But uh, why do I always have to pick up the things that I can't pronounce? All right, so this is a brand I've picked up a few times hit or miss on items and comps, but a lot of items, really beautiful items can do pretty well by this brand. The first time I picked it up a few years ago, I think people were listing it in our anthropology. I cannot verify that this was ever sold at anthropology, but um, I recall some people listing it that way. This is a beautiful robe, silk robe. It does have the tie, which is great, and it appears to be in great condition. Uh, also, the sun is going down, so I've got multiple lights. It's a beautiful sunset, so I'm enjoying it. Uh, this is a one size fits most, but the way they have it styled on their stock photos is just very boho, very effortless. I feel like you could really wear this in multiple different ways, um, but I absolutely love it. Retailed for $325, couldn't find any comps. I found one person had this listed on a non Poshmark or eBay website. I can't remember what the website was called, but they had it listed for 170 I believe. So I priced mine at 149. I have one watcher on it in a couple days, like it's only been listed a couple days. And um, I'm looking forward to potentially selling this for over $100. Maybe I could, could have gone higher, but I also, I would be very happy if this sold for $100. Let's just put it that way. So the, <laughs> the brand, it's um, MES, first word, D-E-M, O-I-S-E-L-L-E-S, -E -E I believe. It's all in cursive. That's hard. Um, Demi-moi? I don't know. Something. Uh, <laughs> you guys can put it down, the pronunciation down below if you speak French. But uh, absolutely stunning. I am looking forward to see how quickly and for how much this sells for. Um, and a really great pickup for a silk lightweight item at the bins. So definitely one of my favorites, but I have a lot of favorites. This was definitely a favorite. You know when you get like those bins and it's like, I don't know, nothing exciting is in them? Well, I happened to spot a not so exciting like sweatpants and it, they felt really nice. And I saw a Viore tag. And Viore, the comps are going down a little bit for me it, from the items I'm picking up. So it's not as rare anymore. Like I seem to find it a little bit more often, but some items can still do really well. Now I found one and then I spotted another of the gray material somewhere in the same bin. I ended up finding four pairs of the exact same pre-owned, same size, same style pants. Now I know they are all pre-owned and washed because each pair on this seam right by the pocket, side pockets, had some light pilling. Now I noted that, but each pair had the same thing, meaning they had been washed, they had been worn, didn't appear to have any st uh, stains or spots. Uh, but these are supposed to be a slim straight men's pair of pants and the style numbers on there. So I was able to look them up. Needless to say, three out of the four have sold, uh, one sold for, uh, $50. That was the first offer. I listed them all at 69, right under 70. I don't know. I just pick weird numbers. Um, I got an offer for $50, accepted it. I got another offer or I sent out offers and it was $57.25, $57.25, and, $57 and whatever. Um, and they accepted that offer. And all this is on eBay. And then the third one sold for $55. They sent me an offer. So all three of those sold in a matter of a few days. I have one left. 
I just got notified yesterday that one of them wants to return it, not for any condition or any issues, just the, it was longer than their pair they own. I do provide measurements, it's fine. They pay the shipping to them and they are gonna pay the return shipping. I'm not losing anything and I'm sure it will still sell. But that means two out of the four have sold. One is getting returned, which I can still sell. And then I still have this one. All have sold for over $50. And I paid, these probably weigh right around 12 ounces um, each. I probably paid $2 for each of these, $8 to $200, 200 plus dollars. I think that's a really good flip. So um, really happy with that. Really happy with whoever donated their four pairs of the exact same Viore pants. And that was a good bin. <laughs> All right, this I'm really excited about, but this is the only item that is gonna take a while because I've gotta take it to the dry cleaner. I don't pick up a lot of items to take to dry cleaners, but this one, it's just so beautiful and I know it's well made. It needs some love. It's been well loved. Um, it's Lafayette 148, which I pass on most Lafayette 148 pieces, but they are expensive retail and they are good quality. This is a cashmere-like feel wool coat. It's just 100% wool. Um, it has quite a bit of pilling. I don't know if it's going to pick up with the lighting since it's all, but it's been, it's, it's, I don't know what they did to it, but I didn't even think about, no, it doesn't have any like shrinkage. It is a size small. Here's my thought. It's a size small and I'm not a size small, but I could wear this open. Um, if I, if it doesn't get to condition that I want to sell it between a hundred to two hundred dollars then I will just keep it because it's beautiful. It's a great basic. Um, even if I don't, if I just wear it open, it's just stunning. So I grabbed it because it's the bins. Even if I paid $25 to dry clean it, if I could sell it between $100 to $200, or if I could keep it, I think it would be worth it. So it's a nice coat length. Um, and we'll see if they can fix this. I can get rid of some of the pilling, but it's also got a couple of tiny spots. So we'll see what the dry cleaners say. I think it was worth the risk. I'll keep you guys posted, probably on Instagram. I'll update you guys um, when I get an update. All right, this was in the same bin as the other robe. Now the other robe was a one size fits most. This is a size 10 All Saints. Um, and both of these were kind of robe kimono style. This one, the name I think right here is the Odelia, 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 uh, tie kimono, but it's basically a robe with a, with a tie. So the comps on this are a little all over the place between basically like 50 to 100. This is kind of a light pink beige shade and it's kind of a mid-length really cute on some of the stock photos. They have this in a black and cream, I think. And then I ha I think they had these in a couple of floral prints, but um, I really like this color combo. Size 10 is great. Um, I priced mine a little bit on the high side at a hundred and I am hopeful for around 70, maybe $80 for this because I just really like the way they, they styled it in the stock photos. So we'll see. I would be thrilled with uh, 70 or $80 um, for sure. So. Before I get to the rest of the bins haul, I did just want to take a quick pause for the sponsor of today's video, which is perfect for every reseller out there. It's Earth Breeze. We all know how gross the clothes are when we bring them home from the thrift store or the Goodwill bins and they smell and they've got stains and they just are gross. And this is my secret weapon. You guys have heard me talk about Earth Breeze a million times, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it today because honestly, if you haven't switched yet, I'm not sure what you're waiting for, but let me tell you why I think you should switch up your game. Switching to EarthBreeze won't only make laundry day easier for you, but it's also easier on the planet. They make those big bulky plastic jugs a thing of the past. Unlike liquid powder or capsule detergent, EarthBreeze looks a lot like a dryer sheet, but it's actually ultra concentrated laundry detergent. It couldn't be any easier to use. You just throw a sheet in with your laundry and watch it dissolve in any wash cycle, hot or cold. Here you can see me pulling one out of the package just to, just to show you how small and thin these are. Easy to tear, you don't need to tear it to use it, I'm just showing that as an example, but I'm gonna throw it in the wash and get my wash started. Earth Breeze fights everyday stains and odors, giving you an amazing clean every time, which honestly, 
I have been super impressed by this because I didn't believe it when I first started using it. Like how could this little small thing clean my really dirty laundry? A few additional fun facts. EarthBreeze is dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, and free of bleach and dyes, so it's perfect for all of my laundry. They have a flexible subscription, so you can adjust, pause, or cancel anytime without hidden fees or penalties. You save a whopping 40% when you subscribe, and shipping is always free. The slim cardboard envelope saves a ton of space in your laundry room. And if EarthBrace doesn't end up being the 2024 update of your dreams, you don't even have to return it. Just let them know that it's not for you and you'll get a full refund, no questions asked. So did you fail at your resolution this year? You still have time to make a great switch to EarthBreeze, which is better for the planet and way easier to use. So when you're ready, which you should be ready to go try it out, you can get 40% off EarthBreeze plus a free welcome bundle at earthbreeze.com slash common tags free. That's 40% off your EarthBreeze Eco Sheets subscription. Plus you'll get a three month supply of washing machine cleaner and a laundry symbols magnet totally free. That's earthbreeze.com slash common tags free. Big thank you to EarthBreeze for continuing to support this channel. Back to the bins haul. All right, back to the bins. Bins, I feel like it's easy to find some Lululemon um, because it's easily overlooked. Uh, but sometimes you could just tell, you look for that logo. This one I just got out of the wash, so I haven't listed this one yet. There were a couple very tiny spots, like right at the hem. I don't know if I got them out yet, but um, this is no pull tag. This has a pull tag. This has no pull tag. However, they were all within a couple bins of each other. So I'm thinking they were all connected, same person, but who knows. This one is really oversized on me. So I think it's supposed to be a relaxed fit and it's a size 12, uh, but it was, I mean, I would have to like tie it to have it fit for the gym. So I think this could easily work for um, someone that is like maybe a 14, 16 maybe, if you wanted more of a fitting style or if you wanted it a really relaxed file, uh, style, you could wear it as a size 12, but just a white tank. These don't get a lot of money, but if it's a good size, then I know it will sell typically. Um, so 10s, 12s, um, I like to pick up the basics. So this I'll probably only get 20, maybe 25 at best, but um, I still do like picking it up for size. This one does have the pull tag and it's a size 12. And this one isn't as relaxed, but it is a looser fit on me as well, so, which is why I'm not keeping it. I don't know, I like, not super fitted, but I, I do like things to fit so they're not like too loose at the gym. Um, this is just a black and white stripe, size 12, Lululemon, and uh, this one again, 20 to 25. Probably those are gonna be in the 20 range, but hopefully they sell quickly because they're good sizes. This one doesn't have the pull tag, but it fits great on me. I compared the measurements that I took to some measurements of some other items that were listed that did have the pull tags. And it looks like this was a, why well, I shouldn't try this on. Why did I just do this? Uh, why? Because I was like, oh, see how it's like relaxed on me. Um, it's supposed to be a relaxed fit. Oh man, this would be so perfect for yoga. I've sold this one before. It's, I like the seam. I like the uh, kind of dolman style sleeves and I like the relaxed fit. There are two buttons right on the front so you can button it right here. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, anyways, it can, the measurements were the same as the medium slash large size with other items that had the pull tags. So I think I put it under large, it fits me great. There are some drawstrings on the inside so you can kind of pull it in, cinch it in the waist on the inside but still a great style. Those, um, that style sell between 40 to, uh, 40 to 50. And so hopefully I can get about $50 for that. All right, I got a couple of free people sweaters and uh, one of them I, I'm not trying on cause I'm like, I don't need it, but I kind of want to wear it to yoga a few times. <laughs> um, cause I just think it's fun. It's a black free people size large. And black does not sell all that well for me. I've, I've looked at my kind of history uh, because it doesn't photograph as well. Like this doesn't pick up all the great detail very easily with how I take photos. I know there's ways that you can edit photos. I just don't. 
but uh, I pick up a lot of black my size because I like black. I like, I wear a lot of black. And um, so if it doesn't fit for me, doesn't work for me, then I can sell it and I still know it's a good size. Anyways, this is the Free People metal tag, size large. Absolutely love, it's kind of a little bit off the shoulder. Could be worn a little bit off the shoulder. Little bit of a cropped fit. Love this kind of holy open knit, I don't know what you would call this, design. Um, raw hem, it's been, it's been touching the floor so that I've got to lint roll it. Uh, but I just think that this would be so cute over a yoga outfit, a gym outfit. I don't need a sweater, so I'm gonna try not to try this on because I don't need it, but hopefully I can get about $30 for that, um, but maybe closer to 25, depending on how long it sits. Sometimes if it's my size and I kinda want it in my closet, I price a little higher and then I don't accept lower offers because I kinda wanna keep it, but I should stop doing that. <laughs> All right, here's another Free People Large. Same person, same style, except this one has the most ginormous sleeves. <laughs> These sleeves, I think the name of it, the style is like these sleeves something. Um, anyways, huge sleeves, really adorable stock photos, kind of a boxier fit, not for me, but a good size. Has like a terry cloth material. Um, so it kind of feels like inside out sweatshirt. But uh, with that one, probably 25 to 30. All right, I'm seeing red everywhere. This isn't like red red, but this is a shade of red. It's also plus size. It's also just a really nice style. Um, I'm not sure if it's picking up on the kind of subtle design, uh, but this is J. Jill. It's a Chanel 2X, and I just love this. I think this is great for multiple seasons. Some people just love red year-round. Some people like it for fall and winter, but um, it is still winter, so I picked it up. Absolutely love it. If I could get, you know, 25 for that, I'd be happy. This is a designer that doesn't do particularly well for me. I would really have to find a similar item and comps before picking it up, but it is a runway designer. And um, most of the stuff I've picked up by this designer has not sold for too much money, um, but it is good quality. And I think they had a collab with Target. They were one of the many designers. Um, this isn't the Target one. This is the probably like a ready to wear designer line, but it's just a really adorable little chambray top, kind of has a little bit of a peplum waist. It's got a raw hem uh, with Beyonce coming out with the album that's country and I feel like country's coming back in. I feel like this would be part of a really cute little country outfit or not. It could be with white shorts and a very preppy outfit. <laughs> it could go a lot of different ways, but, um, but yeah, I just thought this was pretty cute. It's a size six little snug on the, the size six mannequin and I didn't want to rip it. So I didn't put it on for pictures, but pretty adorable. Um, I might only get $30 for this, but I still think it's a good quality and a, a good designer. So, all right, this was probably one of my favorite finds recently just because I got to learn something. Um, and this is a vintage item by Rick Owen's wife. And what I learned was, and it's Michelle, Lamy, L-A-M-Y. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but Lamy, Lamy. Uh, she had this line, I believe from 1990 to 2002. She hired Rick Owens to work on this fashion line with her and that's how she met him. They have been partners since the mid nineties um, and married and she's st they're still together. Um, her stuff from the comps that I could find were very mixed, uh, but I priced this a little bit higher just because it is black. Um, it does have this single button up, up top, these simple pockets right here. This could be worn in a very avant-garde way, and that is what Rick Owens is known for. Now, her stuff wasn't quite that same vibe consistently, but she did have some pieces, and that's actually how she dresses now. Um, this doesn't have a size, but this was a more of a relaxed fit on the size six mannequin, so I think if someone wore it small, medium, and had it at that, as that relaxed fit with some other black pieces, it could be a really cool, cool look. Uh, but absolutely thought it was really cool. She had some glasses that have sold on eBay for, like one was sold for $600, a couple sold for over a hundred, maybe $200, sunglasses, so, but her clothing was a little more inconsistent. I priced this, I believe, at 124 or 150, um, 
and I already have one watcher. So I don't know. Um, it's a little bit more of a muted black. There, it does attract lint, so I'm gonna have to do a really good lint roll, but I just like that this is a little bit of fashion history, being Rick Owen's wife, and that's who hired him, and that's what got him started in his fashion house world. Um, and he's just a really fascinating designer to me. So I was just really excited by this. Anyways, if I could get a hundred bucks for this, I'm telling you, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. All right. Editing Courtney. I just realized I never actually shared the auction item that sold, um, right before I started this video. And so I'm like, that's kind of a bummer. I sold this item for $305 and they never told you about it. So I'm going to pop up a picture. This was a uh, Mexican um, runway designer, um, Josefa, I think is how you would say it, Josefa, J-O-S-E-F-A, I believe is how it's spelled. It was this kind of caftan, very colorful ribbons, uh, very eccentric. I didn't know how to price it originally. I listed it two and a half years ago. It was in a thrift with me video and I was really excited to find it. Um, and I did get some lower offers over the course of the last two and a half years, but I marked it down 50%. I put it on auction as the starting price at $242. I had eight bids and it got up to $305. So I'm really excited. It finally sold. I'm going to get it shipped out. And, uh, yeah, I love, I love fun auctions on eBay, especially for rare items. So I obviously priced too high. It finally sold. I'm happy with the return. So back to the bins haul. All right. I do have two pairs of shoes here. I pulled them out. Didn't have them in the bags. Um, one of the bins that I like that I spent probably closer to four hours at, they usually have more shoes. And I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't find too many that I liked this day. But these are a pair of Merrell's. And these have the style name written on the tag. So it was really easy for me to look up. The comps for these are right around 50 to 60. They don't have many listed in any size and they definitely don't have these listed in the nine and a half that I picked them up in. Some light scuff marks, not in perfect condition, but in good condition. Um, but Merrill, Comfort, they have a lot of outdoor wear shoes, outdoorsy shoes. Um, these I believe are waterproof and uh, I'm hoping for 50 or 60, probably closer to 50, but um, I'm really happy with that pickup. All right, these are a pair of Allbirds. I don't pick up most all birds these days. They have not been selling very well for me um, or quickly, but this style, the ballet flat, I think these are called the tree breezers. These still do fairly well. So I am hoping for about 30 to 40 for this. Um, now these are tinier. These are a size six and a half. So a little on the smaller side, but they seem to be in good condition. They're a dark gray. I think this is called the Navy midnight or something like that. Um, so it is a slight blue tint, but to me in like natural light, it looks like a dark gray. Um, but yeah, there's just one little, there's one little mark over here. These are washable. I could throw them in the wash. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but if I could get 30 for those, be, considering they're lightweight, I would be happy. All right. This is a kind of a career wear, career wear piece, uh, but this is a designer that's done fairly well for me. I think there's only one, been one item that I've had a hard time selling, and that was a skirt by this designer. Um, this is not like a trendy item by any means, but it is a good staple piece for someone who still has to dress up for work. Um, or, you know, someone could wear this with jeans and a cute pair of heels. This is a designer that some pieces can do extraordinarily well, and not, but not all pieces. One girl just posted on Instagram. I don't, I can't remember who it was. They had a $3,000 sale by this designer pre-owned on Poshmark. So Piazzo, Piazza Simpione, it's Italian. Uh, you could leave the correct pronunciation down below if you speak Italian. Um, some of the stuff can do extraordinarily well. This, I'm not that optimistic that it's going to do extraordinarily well, but Hey, if I could get 30 or 40 bucks for this, that would be great. It's good quality. It's a good staple piece. So yeah. This was a mistake. I'm going to get back to that in a second. I'm going to move on to my mob wife item. Who has seen the mob wife trend? I don't think this will fit. This could barely fit on my size six mannequin. Uh, and this is not like a super expensive item. Oh, geez. Oh, I look like a bird. Like if I start flapping, <laughs> it doesn't fit. I'm not going to tear it though, but this is about as good as I can get. Uh, it just has that mob wife feel. I'm going to try and not rip this. I don't know. It's kind of a fun trend, to be honest. 
I am not promoting furs. This is a faux fur. Um, <laughs> so this is acrylic and some other type of acrylic. So, but it is a really fun style. The stock photos of this, absolutely adorable. Love the color combination in this. Um, I had never seen this tag. And when I looked it up, I think it's Urban Outfitters or ASOS or one of those. So not super valuable, but it's Millie Macintosh. And I did find one comp that I think was like 70 or $80 for this exact item. So I'm not hoping for that. I think I'm hoping for more like 50, 60, but hey, I think it will really pull off that mob wife trend if someone's going for it. So that's fun. All right, here's bread and butter, Eileen Fisher. This is a dress. It's a size small, but it has, I like the cowl neck on the front. I like that there's little pockets. It's like a little t-shirt dress and it's a great staple. And that's what a lot of Eileen Fisher items are. I do like picking up larger sizes in Eileen Fisher, um, but so I'm not hoping for too much for this, but I did like the style and the simplicity of this. So, you know, if I could get 30 bucks for this, that would be great. Um, but I don't pick up all Eileen, I should reiterate. I do like Eileen as a bread and butter and some of it can sell for 50 plus, but a lot of items sell for 30 to 50, um, depending on style and size. All right, there were two equipment femmes that I picked up, both size medium, one sold. It was a, I'll pick up, pull up a picture, um, a snakeskin um, silk button front blouse. That one sold for $30 in a couple of days, which was great. And uh, this one is not silk, which most equipment femme is silk, but it is size medium. It does have a, little tie on the front that you can tie right here. Really great career piece, still button front. I think this is kind of like a little bit of a retro flair to it. Um, so I like it, we'll see. This one's probably gonna go for more like that 25 range and probably not sell as quickly, but I still like picking up that brand. So also I did have one other sale um, that sold within a couple days and that was an Irish uh, poncho and I believe it was called Carage Dawn, Carrig Dawn. I, I don't have an Irish accent. I'm not Irish, so my heritage isn't Irish, ironically. Uh, so I can't fake it. <laughs> and even if I tried to fake it, I would butcher it and you guys would laugh. Uh, but anyways, I'll write it on the screen. It was a poncho. I could tell it was made in Ireland. And uh, when I looked it up, a lot of them were selling between 30 and 50. This one was green. I'm drawn to green. It was in good condition and it sold for $39.20 on eBay. I sent out an offer, someone accepted. I had it listed for $49. So really happy with that quick flip um, because sometimes those Irish pieces can do fairly well. All right, this is an anthropology blouse and really adorable print. I've never seen this tag, so I learned a little bit more. It says 21 of 52. So this was a, <coughs> it was like a, a thing that Anthropology did where it was like 52 different prints to celebrate all of the beautiful prints that Anthropology tends to have. Uh, so this is like a black floral fun print. And this was the design was number 21 out of 52. This is a size US 14, which is great, but just a little button front. Um, it does have a tie on the front as well, like V-neck part. And I think this is absolutely adorable. So I'm hoping for 25 to 30 for that uh, because of the size, because the, the collab or the thing was a little bit more unique, but we'll see. All right, this is a little sweatshirt dress and this is Athleta. So it's black on top, it's green on the bottom. I would like this in my closet. This is a medium tall. Um, which I like the, the certain brands that do cater to having, you know, tall um, sizing. So, but I think that this could be work for just, you know, non-tall person, just a little bit longer. But I just like the fact that there's a little way you can zip and have little slits if you want, or if you want to be a little bit more modest, you can zip them down if you're not on camera trying to zip awkwardly. Um, so you could kind of customize it how you want. I love the color scheme. This is not surprising. This is like my dream combo. This is what I wear a little too often. So, um, but really like that. Probably in the 35-ish range, but we'll see. 
This dress I picked up thinking I would try it on. Sometimes when it's black and it's my size, uh, I'll pick it up, try it on, even if I don't think it's gonna sell for very much. This is a brand Drew, which I know I've seen it at Nordstrom Rack. So Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, maybe some other places. But I just liked this print. Now the style is not the best on me. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like, it's a little bit like a tiered right here. It's hard to see with the print, but not the most flattering on me. So I decided to list it. Um, you know, that brand retails very high, does not resell for very much. So probably 25 to 30 for that one um, when it sells. And I don't think it'll sell quickly. This was another one I tried on, I got because I wanted to try on. And it's made well, size large. Another one that I don't really like the fit on me. So, you know, sometimes it's easy to just buy it for myself. This is a very lightweight silk item. Um, it's cute. It will probably look adorable on someone else. My chest can sometimes make things like this a little bit more maternity-esque, like baby doll style. So yeah, and I don't, <laughs> I don't want that in my life. So uh, that probably in the 20, maybe 25 range is what I'll get for that. But it will not sell quickly as I know with most Madewell items. This is absolutely adorable. This is Sundance. This is a relaxed fit. It's new with tags. There's no original price on here, but Sundance, extra small. It fits great on the size six mannequin. So I think it, it definitely runs a little big, but it's an absolutely adorable little embroidered kind of boho dress. Um, I'm hoping for about 35 to 40 for that one. We'll see. The size I think will throw, I mean, obviously there's people of all sizes, but I, so that's one of those cases where I wish I could just list it under six because I think it fits on the size six mannequin really great. And it would probably be way oversized on someone extra small, but I do list according to tags. And then I just make note of, you know, measurements and that I think it runs big, but, and that it's on a size six mannequin, but I think it would probably sell a little bit quicker if I, if it was, yeah. All right. This is a men's Vince sweater. I did find the stock photo for this. Um, I want to say this retailed for $200, $250. It's somewhat of a recent style. And uh, so I listed it fairly high. I think I listed this around 50, which is high for Vince. Like Vince is not a great flip for me usually, but I did like it for the size. And I do love this color. It's a really nice spring or even a light sweater for summer night. Um, so we'll see. I have had higher sales in Vince before, but most Vince pieces don't sell very quickly for me. All right, this is We Wore What skirt. And this is a size 27. I feel like this skirt is still kind of end in, um, and I've seen this from so many different brands, kind of the midi length with the slit on the front. I think this is still in. I'm still seeing influencers style them. I think that this is gonna go into this spring and summer. So we'll see. Comps for this exact item were in the 30, 35 ish range, but that brand is not to, does not need to be confused with the who, what, where, which is the target brand. We wore what is a completely different brand, not sold at target. Very confusing. Took me a while to even understand there was difference. And I don't actually find this brand all that much, but I find it enough to, yeah. These are absolutely adorable anthropology pants. I love picking up velvet. There's a whole market of people who just love wearing velvet. I found the stock photos for this as well, really cute style, but they're just joggers. And there's also a tie at the waist, um, but comfortable, can dress this up, dress it down, put it with a t-shirt and sneakers or put it with some heels and a cute little black top. Um, so I feel like it's a versatile piece, but it really pops with the, the velvet. Obviously it screams a little bit more fall with the color, but yeah, you never know. All right, this, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I got it thinking I could have this as like an oversized sweater because who doesn't like an oversized sweatshirt? Um, bless this mess, but this is a men's sweatshirt. I just think that's so funny. Um, <laughs> Bless this mess. I know that that's kind of an outdated saying. I feel like I saw it a lot a few years ago, but this is by Eleven Paris. I've sold a couple items from this brand. I think they are men's and kids. I don't know if they sell women's, but I like it. I'm not gonna keep it. I do not need it. I'm selling it. It's a men's XL. 
no, men's XXL. So, uh, but I absolutely love it. If a guy wore a bless this mess <laughs> sweatshirt, green tie dye, I just, yeah, I would just love that. So, all right. Uh, this was a really great find. This has a few watchers and I was kind of hesitant because there were a couple snags on it. And Alice and Olivia does not do all that great for me um, with most things I find. But this is a beautiful houndstooth coat. It's button front. Uh, it's, it's fun, it's classic. It's got a little purple lining. Uh, this is a size small, fits great on the size six mannequin upstairs. There are a couple of, like here's one. I know someone can thread that back through. I probably can. I actually probably, I don't know. I just don't want to cut it. That's my problem. If I try and thread this through, I feel like I will do more damage. I don't trust myself. I have ruined some really good pieces trying to repair them. And so my go-to is just list with the flaws if they're not significant. And I listed this at $124. One of these is listed on the real real for $200 or it sold for $200 on the real real. I can't remember. Anyways, I have a few watchers. It's listed for 124. If I could sell this for anywhere from 75 to 100, I would be thrilled. It's a heavier item, so I did pay up for it, but I think it's a great classic piece. And that brand is not cheap. All right, this was not at the bins. <laughs> this was at a regular thrift store. I don't think this could survive the traffic at the bins. Uh, but this is new with tags. It's the Rami Brook. It's the really expensive polyester brand is how I always think of it. Um, if you can see right there. This probably retailed for $300. Does it have the price on here? Uh, $345 or $348. I see a three and a four and either an eight or a five. $350 for this thing. That is what, and it's polyester. That is wild. All of their stuff is retail so expensive. Feels super nice. It feels like silk, a lot of the pieces, but it's polyester. <sighs> yeah, anyways, this is a little off the shoulder blouse. Um, and I didn't pay much for it. I think I paid like six bucks for it at a regular thrift. Um, but <laughs> I think I would have left that at the bins if that were there because I would have known it probably would have had stains. So uh, I think I priced that at around 50 or 60, hoping for 30 or 40. Even though it's new with tags, even though it retailed for that much, the resale value for that brand does not do extraordinarily well for me. So, all right, I have two IRO pieces. This is IRO sweater with little fun accent down the side of each sleeve. This is a uh, little open knit. And I was it, the, the style is written on the material tag, which makes it really easy. So this is the Yana. Um, IRO is pretty expensive, but it depends on the piece. A lot of the pieces like this, you know, if I could get 30, $35 for this, that would be great. Um, this is a linen deep VT, deep VT. I found one of these similar at a thrift store not that long ago. I think it was a different color, um, but very deep V. This is also an extra small. And this is probably in the 25 to 30 range, if I had to guess as far as comps. Here's a little anthropology sweater. It's a size large, I believe. Yeah, size large, which is great. Angel of the North. It's got little short sleeves, open front, really nice little mint color, perfect for spring. Uh, I'll probably get about 25 for that. And then this is a free people jacket. I have one of these exact ones listed in an extra small. This is a large. Um, so it's the metal tag, free people. This, honestly, if I were going to like a Dodger game, um, I feel like this would be really cute just cause it's blue and it's a good layering piece. Uh, but it, it's, it's a little snug on my chest. It's my life story. Anyways, the one, the extra small one hasn't sold. And I think that's listed at like 35. This one I listed probably at like 49, 50. Um, and I'm hoping for 35 to 40. So yeah, good little, I like the distressed on that. All right, this is the one that I was excited about and then I was bummed about because I got home and there's a small hole. Um, I am still, list I did list it and you know, we'll see. But this is outer known. Sometimes their label just says, okay. 
Um, it's Kelly Slater's brand. I'm a huge Kelly Slater fan. I used to follow the surf culture a lot, especially when he was huge. And so I just get excited to find his stuff. Some of the stuff can do really well. Some of it sits for me. So I try to get a little pickier, but this one I didn't notice until I got it on the mannequin that there is a, there is a hole on the side of one sleeve. I think it's minor. I think it could be repaired and not super obvious, but this is just a sweater. It has alpaca in it. It just feels very luxurious. Um, and if it were in better condition, I would probably, yeah, it's 60% alpaca, 40% cotton. Um, if it were in better condition, I probably would have listed around 60, hoping for 40 to 50. Um, I listed this, I think at 35 or 40 and I'm hoping for 20, 25. <laughs> so I still think it's great basic. And if someone could do a little repair, I still think it's a great heavy, well-made sweater, but I was kind of bummed about that hole. So I think that's it. Uh, be sure to check out earth breeze, get the free gift, use my code, love them. I've been using them for a while now and, um, I, I'm never tired about talking about them because I've gotten all my friends and family on them and I love them that much. So thank you so much earth breeze. I'll see you all in the next video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up. Bye.